All right, good morning. My name is Jody Baker. I am the uh, Recreation Superintendent for Broken Arrow Parks and Recreation. And uh, you are at the uh, Recreation 101. This is our, I'll do the title screen this time. This is all about our uh, recreation centers and our programming that we have going on here. And with me today, I have um, Matt Herr over at Neen Heist uh, Recreation Center. I have Tanner Wilburn over at Central Park uh, Community Center. And I have Miranda Adams over at Ray Harrell Nature Center. And they're gonna to talk to you about all the wonderful things that we have going on this year and uh, ways that y'all can come out and recreate with us. So I'll hand it over to Matt here and let him start. So here are three community centers. We, like what Jody said, we have Neen Heights Park Community Center, Central Park Community Center, and Ray Hero Nature Center. And we'll first off uh, talk a little about Neen Heights Park Community Center. Here uh, we have two gymnasiums, uh, full size. Not a lot of communities have uh, full size gyms like us, but we, we're fortunate to have two in Broken Arrow at Neen Heights Park Community Center. Uh, we have a kitchen that's also there as well that, uh, that is encompassed with the meeting room that people tend to use for baby showers, birthday parties, and uh, uh, any type of special events. Uh, they are $35 an hour for residents of Broken Arrow and $45 for non-residents of Broken Arrow. We also have a recreation room where we do have uh, shuffleboard, ping pong, and uh, board games, and foosball table that the communities can come inside and utilize it as well. Uh, and lastly, you know, we also have an outdoor patio that uh, anybody's welcome to use as well. There's a grill there, so if, uh, occasionally we'll have family reunions that come uh, who utilizes their meeting room. They also use our grills as well. Um, some uh, classes that we hold here are our daily classes. Uh, we have, uh, uh, so, uh, starting from Monday, we do have breakdancing classes that occur there at 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, a lot of our uh, programs range from uh, kids to adults, so anyone's welcome. Uh, a lot of our programs are at uh, Broken Arrow at our baparks.org page. As you can see, looking up here, Crafty Kids is a very famous class, uh, craft class that we have here at Neen Heights Park Community Center. Martial arts uh, we have there as well, messy art, and lasting tumbling and gymnastics are, is one of our largest ones. Uh, those are introduction to gymnastics for kids uh, age, ranging from ages uh, two years old and up to eight years old. Uh, other classes uh, and programs that we have are uh, the most uh, most um, growing sport is pickleball and we're during our open gym times. We have pickleball uh, occurring uh, Monday through Fridays here at the Neen Heights Park Community Center or Central Park Community Center. Uh, we also do have uh, indoor RC flying on Monday mornings that occur. Uh, you can fly your drones or battery powered uh, airplanes inside our gymnasiums. Uh, Monday mornings, uh, Neen Heights Park Community Center, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And also over at Central Park Community Center when uh, Tanner would speak that a little bit. Uh, going down, you know, we do have uh, the one-day classes such as origami classes and uh, a lot that's not listed on there. Uh, you can always go to baparks.org that would take you to our programs. Some of our special events, uh, uh, I'll name off the most important ones, Daddy Dar Dance, that's occurring tonight. Uh, we sold out 1,200 tickets, so our largest, uh, uh, I'd say it's the largest Broken Arrow uh, Parks Department uh, event that's occurring. Uh, we also do have other weekly uh, programs and events that occur during the off, off school, so spring break uh, programs we'll have, out of school programs during the summer, fall break, and uh, winter break. Uh, we do have weekly themed programs for those as well. Uh, as far as uh, some more programs up here during the summertime, uh, that's where we're most busiest during the summertime when there's no school. Uh, we're doing a Neen Heights Park Open House, uh, National Parks and Rec Month is also in July, and also our rolling back to school once school goes back in session. And uh, here's some more uh, activities as well, Dr. Seuss Week that's coming up, uh, Splash Pad Week, and rolling back to school are other examples. And summer camp is our, our, our largest, uh, uh, busiest time as well. Uh, it is the cheapest uh, for us. It's only $100 per student, uh, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Uh, parents can drop off the kids for a whole week. There's different theme weeks, four sessions over the summertime that uh, you can register as well. And here's some flyers that you guys can take a look at. Uh, going from uh, homeschool art, And we also do do adult uh, sand volleyball courts. 
uh, sand volleyball leagues. Uh, we do have uh, our lights that just got installed last year, last season, so we utilize that quite often as well. And I'll pass it on to Central Park. Uh, Central Park Community Center, I'm Tanner Wilburn. Uh, at our facility, we have three gymnasiums. We have a large meeting room that also has a kitchen and a small meeting room. Uh, those can all be reserved uh, depending on residency. Your rates will depend. Um, just some of the classes that we offer at Central Park Community Center. We have Tai Chi. It's on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. This is a free program. Uh, it's open to anybody. There's no age requirements. Uh, we also offer pickleball. Uh, pickleball is very popular. It's on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. We also offer beginner pickleball from 9 to 10 on those days. Uh, and then evening pickleball we also offer on Wednesdays starting at 6 and it goes until about 8.45 p.m. Uh, some of our youth programs that we do, we do t-ball clinics, uh, our little ballers program is youth basketball, little kickers is for soccer. Uh, we also offer homeschool PE. Uh, just some of our upcoming events that we have, we have Parents Night Out next week. That's where kids can be dropped off in the evening uh, from 5 to 9. Uh, parents get to go out and enjoy some time with themselves. Uh, we also have our uh, egg decorating program. Uh, it's going to be the Thursday before Good Friday. Uh, so parents and uh, families can come in and decorate eggs have little craft activities that can be brought home during that time. And then we also have our Princess Week celebration that'll be celebrating National Princess Week. Um, mom and Me Craft Night. Uh, uh, mom and Me, you get to make your own bath bombs. Uh, we also have our, uh, our pooch plunge. So at the end of each pool season, we let the dogs enjoy the pool. So uh, that's always a fun event. And then we also do uh, multiple theme weeks throughout the year. So next week we have our Valentine card creation, uh, Dr. Seuss week, April showers, bring May flowers. So monthly programs where families can come in, create take home crafts, um, blast into July. Uh, we do offer uh, open gym. Uh, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. right now. Uh, once we get in or out of uh, youth basketball season, we typically have at least one gym open until 8.45 p.m. Monday through Friday. Uh, and we also offer open gym on Saturday mornings from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Our Central Park summer camps, uh, we do four sessions throughout the summer. So we'll start out uh, first two weeks of June and then we have a little break. Um, we kind of balance the act of uh, we accommodate taste of summer and rooster days and that so we kind of schedule around those and then we have an upcoming mixed doubles pickleball tournament in April uh, normally we have anywhere from 60 to 80 participants in this uh, our egg decorating program and then of course may the 4th be with you we'll be offering a dodge brawl event it's that Saturday morning All right, Ms. Miranda um, so at Ray Harrell, we are a 40-acre park. Uh, we also have a nature center with different educational exhibits, um, as well as educational displays and learning resources. Um, so a lot of people will say that they come out to the park, but they don't go into the nature center. So I do encourage you to come inside and talk to us because we are a wealth of information. We have a variety of classes for all age ranges. A lot of these are reoccurring. So we have um, monthly uh, preschool programs like our Nature Tots, which are for three to five year olds. Each month is a different theme. It's the first three Wednesdays of every month. And then the last Wednesday of the month, we have a story time that is open to the public. We also have classes for six to 12 year olds, um, as well as teenage programs and adult workshops and classes. We also have monthly special events. Um, our most popular one is our full moon hike. So that is on the full moon of every month where we go on a guided hike and we explore the sights and sounds of Ray Harrell after dark. Um, so that's a really fun event that we do every month. And then we usually have a themed monthly activity that's open to families to come out um, depending on 
the month we do different themes. So this month we're doing um, a love birds walk where we're talking about different courtship behaviors of birds in the park. Um, we also have our Loteria trail game where we're learning about invasive species. We have um, pop-up arboretums for Arbor Day as well as Earth Day events. So um, follow us on social media to stay on top of all of those fun events that we have going on. So as I mentioned, we do um, want to blend um, environmental education with outdoor recreation. So we have lots of different theme weeks as well as an employee of the month where we're targeting um, specific um, natural ideas to come in and learn about. So we have Invasive Species Awareness Week coming up this month and then we have Amphibian Week um, coming up in March where we can learn about frogs and toads. Um, so all kinds of special events to come and learn about your favorite nature topics. We do often also also have um, speakers come out and talk about these topics so keep an eye on that we've had um, dendrochronologists come out we had a bat speaker come out um, just a few months ago um, so all kinds of great topics to learn about we do also have summer camps for the kids. We also have a, a teen wildlife workshop, and this year we're doing a grown-up day camp. So if you were like me and didn't get to go to a summer camp as a kid, it's not too late. You can still come out and do all the fun um, summer camp things um, as an adult. And these are some of our weekly classes. We do birds and brews, um, where we go birding every Tuesday morning and drink coffee. Um, so much fun. That's free and open to the public, so feel free to come out anytime. There's our full moon hike. So again, that's once a month on the full moon. Uh, we come out and go through the forest at night. That's free and open to the public as well. And then this is our frog food nature tot. So if you have a three to five year old, again, that's the first three um, Wednesdays of every month that we do that with the kiddos. Every class we do song and dance and crafts. And then of course we go outside and we introduce them to the natural world so that they are comfortable um, and excited to spend time outside. And if you have any questions about Ray Harold programming, please come talk to me. I love to talk about it. All right. So. Uh all these classes can be found at Civic Rec. Um, that, is, that is our uh, software package that we use to, to track all of our things, our rentals and everything like that. So it's a one-stop shop. Not only can you rent a facility, but you can also check out what activities we have on here. And to do it, it's really easy. Go to baparks.org. There's a big green button in the middle. We made it as big as we really could bear to make it, um, but it's easy to see. You can click it, and it'll send you to our uh, enrollment. Uh, to find out what's going on. To do it, uh, here's the big green button. Um, <laughs> we're trying to make it easy, right? Um, so uh, you'll go in, you'll log in and create an account. Um, it's super simple. Um, we don't ask for a ton of information, just your normal address for residency type thing, an email address so we can get a hold of you, and a phone number um, to associate with the account there. Um, this is all the everything on there. Um, it's all managed by you, so if you forget a password, you don't have to call us and say, hey, I forgot a password. It's easy. You can put it in and say, I forgot a password and handle all your account management stuff like that. It also has a screen, a dashboard for you to help you uh, with different things. And of course, Civic Rec's always uh, updating and, and providing uh, new, new features and new tools and stuff to help out to manage your thing, like reminders that says, hey, you remember you registered for this free class two or three months ago. Um, it's coming up next week, so uh, make sure your schedule's clear. Uh, again, and if you have any kids in there, and especially if your kids are going to go for open gym or anything like that, you can put your kids on here, get the waivers signed, and do all, everything on there. So whenever they walk in there, we can get their we can get their ID cards made and get them into the gym fairly easily. If not, you might get a phone call from a teenager that says, hey, mom I'm, or dad, I am at the uh, gym right now and they need a, we need an account. Um, don't worry, it's not, nothing scary. We just go in here and go through all this. We have a QR code. They'll, they'll be able to be associated with the account and we can get them into the open gym. Um, we like to do that because we like to keep track of our numbers. Um, it's really helpful to see, um, to, to see our usage and stuff like that, so that's what we use it for. Our memberships are free to our centers. 
Um, so uh, don't don't think that if your teenager's in there to play uh, open basketball that you're going to get a $25 charge or something because right now our memberships are free. And uh, yeah, save and close. All right. So any questions about programming or recreation in general? Yes, sir. Yeah. But I noticed the ones we frequently go to, the Ninjas Club, the Ninja House, uh, and then I think there's another football club in town. They seem to fill up really fast. Do you guys have plans to expand? Well, to see, the, the thing with, the, with Thick Pickball is, is it's really, really hugely popular, right? And so we have, as, as recreation programmers, we are dedicated to programming for the community as a whole, right? So we have to balance the super, super popular sport versus the needs of other people, uh, such as basketball players and volleyball and stuff like that. So court time, even though we do have five full gyms, um, court time is a very uh, valuable thing to a lot of community members. And so hence why it, it's, we, are, we are probably at, at the max as much as we can uh, do for pickleball just because we, got, we want to get so many other great programs in there and provide more than just a, just a, just a pickleball facility or something like that. We, we want to provide something that will offer, uh, like I said, uh, volleyball or basketball or you know, maybe in the future something like badminton. Quiet group. Any other questions about parks or recreation? We don't bite. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to say that there's a, we have done an amazing job uh, over the past three years to really, really bring in uh, um, quality recreation and programming to uh, focus on getting our community centers up to uh, the standards that we're looking for for Broken Arrow. Um, we've done a lot of great things with Central Park We've recently did uh, um, flooring and painting in there. Um, there's roofs being redone in there. It's a, it's a great facility. Um, Nienheis Park is going to be seeing some improvements uh, coming all pretty much uh, in a lump. Um, so we are, we're working to make this a, a great place for you all to, um, to uh, utilize and don't be, don't be don't be afraid if you don't if you don't see something that you don't that you that you want to look at or you like this might this is a, a a fun program or I have a lot of friends that are looking for something like that feel free to reach out to us and talk to us um, you know we are uh, we try we try to stay up with trends and we try to stay up with uh, um, surveying our our uh, our patrons and stuff to figure out what we're what we're looking for. Um, but, you know, ideas come from all, all sorts of places. And so, um, like things that we are, we're trying out, you know, we're looking at other things like f futsal and badminton and all these other things. Um, again, trying to fit it into the container that we have of 24 hours a day or, or the, the hours that we're open, we're trying to fit all this in there and, and still be uh, convenient times and, and uh, great programming. Uh, yes. Um, what was your minimum age for the assumption? Uh, seven to twelve. It's seven to twelve. Yep. How about volunteering? Are you working with general volunteering? Uh, yes. Well, uh, like we have different special events that we do, um, and we have different uh, uh, large craft events, um, and we're always looking for people to volunteer. Just reach out to a community center. Um, like right now, we like tonight at our daddy daughter dance, we have 20 volunteers that are coming in to help out with it. I mean, 1,200 people over several hours, it's a, it's a, it's a quite a task. And to, to put all that together, I always say that uh, recreation is, is the, uh, we, we throw the biggest parties in town. And we have 1,200 uh, closest friends to, to come out and enjoy it. So I've got the please wrap it up sign. So if anybody has any other questions, uh, please, please feel free to walk on down by the bathrooms and we're right there to, um, at the end of the hall down here to answer your questions. Thank you all very much.